I'm Nick Noe. And I'm Mary Kay Neha. And this is Behind the Scenes. Today we're at Zero Level of University Hospital at the Clean Room Complex. It's made up of four distinct rooms that help us to eliminate the possibility for contamination for our patients' IV fluids. We're going to meet with Steve Switzer who's going to walk us through how a prescription is delivered to our loading dock and then compounded and eventually delivered to a patient through an IV bag. Steve? Well, good to see both Thank of you. you. Good to see you We're too. really excited to show everyone our new clean room facility. So tell us exactly where we are right now. This is the pharmacy clean room complex. And it's a series of rooms where different work processes take place in each area. So, Steve, you're going to walk us through how a prescription is ordered from, from one of the units over in the main hospital and how that, that order is shipped over here and the prescription is then compounded and uh, prepared for the patient to then. In the past, everything was done in one room and now we're going to separate the packaging in this room here called a breakdown area. See, cardboard is a, is a great source of contamination because bacteria travel on particulate matters. So before you show us what happens with that pharmaceutical product, show us first what this is. We weren't able to find anything that was commercially available, so we had these designed for us. And the, the idea is, is that we prevent contamination from this room from entering into this room by having a locked door system here. And now we're in the ante room. We're going to transfer it to this cart here. And now before this goes into the buffer room where we're going to make the preparation, we have to disinfect each valve here. And we're not going to have any type of cardboard going into the buffer room. Now I notice that there's blue tile and white tile. Is that significant of anything? Very good observation. There's different, different levels of cleanliness. And so this is what we would call the dirty area of the ante room. And over here is the clean area. And there's a red line, so that's even cleaner over there. Correct. This is sort of the, the heart of the whole clean room complex. This is where we're going to receive the physician order, where we're going to process it there, and then also send anything out. So what you brought in earlier, the little vials, that's actually medicine that's going to be compounded in this third room. Is that correct? That is very correct. Okay, so this room is either pre-made stuff or the processing room, so to speak, of where you get the orders in and verifying that it's accurate. Yes. Okay, well, let's go into our next room, which is called the buffer room. We'll have some additional garb that we'll need to put on. So tell me, why are we putting on masks? And I noticed that the pharmacists are wearing gloves. What is that purpose? Well, people are the greatest source of contamination. So even though we've cleansed our vials and supplies, the bacteria that's on your hands and, and from your face is another source of potential contamination to the final product. These are doses that aren't, aren't available pre-mixed, and so we're actually doing the compounding of it here. We utilize certified pharmacy technicians that go through on-the-job training. So where are our vials at in the process now? Our, our vials are in the ante room and our next step is to put them in their storage area in the buffer room where they're going to be used for actual compounding of the preparations there. Once again we have a line of demarcation which separates the cleanliness of one room to the other. Alright Steve, we've seen how uh, our drugs get from the staging area to the ante room the buffer room, and now there's one last room to go. What makes the drugs in this room hazardous? Hazardous drugs include chemotherapy agents, which are used to treat cancer. These drugs are also toxic to the actual person who's repairing the drugs. So through the use of special hoods and a different air environment, we're able to protect the employee as well. So the air pressure in this room is negative pressure, and negative pressure allows for containment of the contaminants in this room from ever going into the other areas of the clean room complex. All right, so we've been through all three rooms and we've been clean all the way throughout. The last part is delivering the drugs to the patient. Here we have a syringe that's going to go to NNICU, and we're going to send this by the pneumatic tube system right. to the floor. 
Just like the bank. Just like the just like the bank. Steve, how long does it take for the medicine to get from here to that that unit? Pro probably less than three minutes. Wow. This is actually an express station. Now, because we can't fit through the pneumatic tube system, our exit is right here. I'm Nick Noe. And I'm Mary Kay Nehoff. And this was Behind the Scenes.